Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play of Mountain Blade. I am Nerdstalgic. And yeah, in our last video, we decided that we were going to go down and uh, raid Ismerala here. And it went okay for a little while, and then we got attacked. And we did manage to fight off the attack and take the guy prisoner. But then we saw there was another bigger party coming. So yeah, Mitchin, Mitchin's being raided now. All this stuff's being raided. <laughs> Great. Uh, so, we're in the process of maybe recruiting a few more warm bodies and also trying to heal up a little bit. And then we might just go back down and raid again. But I think in, in the uh, at the moment we're going to head up to Tier because there's a tournament going on up there. So we're going to swing by Quinn, see if we can recruit some bodies. One. Okay. And then we'll go, uh, Hayen is looted, so we're not going to do anything there. That's the si that's the thief you want right there. Holy crap. Nobody's ever going to go up there and raid that shit. Okay, so we're going to go up here and fight in this tournament. Try to make a little bit of money. Alright. Let's, um, let's visit the tavern first. See who who is in here. We've got a caravan guard, Ayla, Ayla, Alien. Who are you? We meet again. Oh, we've met you before. Oh, he's he's the guy that thinks he's all like class and shit. Yeah, I'll let you know if I hear anything. He sounds like he would be a lot of trouble. Who's this wandering bard? Ooh, a slave trader. Can I sell? Uh, Oh, okay. I'd like to sell this noble into slavery or something. Traveler. Nah. Alright, let's talk to this... Uh, who's this? Book merchant. Eh, it costs too much. Let's talk to this bard. Can you teach me any poems? Nope. Ooh, I want to know what's the latest juicy gossip about Svipple. Is she still favoring Jarl Haida? Yeah. Y'all, Eric is tired of pursuing Lady Gudrun. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, let's join the tournament. Who are the participants? Serena, are you here? Man, there's a lot of named people. A lot of named people. That'll be all right. Put a bet on herself. Wow. That's... Is that a lot? I don't know. Anyways. Two teams, six fighters each. What do we got here? One hand. Oh, yeah. It's looking good for us. Right in the back. Dude, you should never let me have your back. Ever. Ever. I mean, I'm, I'm just... Just, yeah. I mean, it, the difficulty is really low, but... Even, you know, with higher difficulty, I think I would do okay in these things, but I'm not sure. Three teams, two fighters each. Of course we're going to bet ourselves. Oh my god. Well, I'm pretty decent with the bow. I think we got him there. Nice. Come on. There we go. Oh, he's turned. Alright, let's see if we can... Alright. I'm gonna try to get on this, this guy here. Alright, give me your, give me your shield. Give me your shield. Give me your axe. Freaking telemarketers. Always calling. Always calling. Yeah, you're, you're out of luck, bro broski. Because I know I shot you with an arrow, too. So he was already taking some damage. Uh, three teams, one fighter each. Could be interesting. Could be one of those things where we all have lances. Oh, boy. 
Three to one. Please don't be lances. All right, well, this could be interesting. Because you can't block anything. Okay, they're both on me. Which is... Makes complete and perfect sense. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yep, been eliminated. Dranton. Good job, Dranton. Well, that was kind of lame. That was kind of lame. I mean, I like the fact that it's like random like that in terms of what, what you're going to get. But like... <laughs> oh man, you start at such a such a disadvantage if you're in my opinion as an art you know, like if you're starting out with a bow and arrow and a fucking knife versus two guys with shields and one-handers cuz it's so much harder to hit them. Like you either go for a headshot, which I did almost headshot that guy even though I don't know if it would have killed him. And, uh, or maybe you shoot their legs. I, I don't know what you do there. But I was hoping that the guy would come along and get on his back. The other guy's back. But instead, no. I mean, he's pretty smart. He got on me and then they fought it out. So, Okay, well, um, why don't we go talk to the Guildmaster here and see what we could do here in tier. We still have some money. I mean, we did wager, lose a few hundred there. But it's not a whole lot, so... Alright, oh, aren't you foppish? Alright. Tell me about, uh... Overall, the wealthiest town of Colorado is known to be Hallmar. Here in Tier, we are poorer than 4 and richer than 17. So, pretty, pretty rich place. Most productive town is Veluca. Okay, so it's, it's a pretty good town to set up for. Production is, of course, affected by supply of raw materials. Um... Suno received the most visits from Caravan over the past few months. Um, I'm just trying to f figure out a little bit more about... Okay, neat. Okay, we have shortages in pottery, flax bundle, dyes, date fruit, ale, olives, and grain. There has been some trading activity here recently, but not enough. Travelers coming from Suno traded here earlier this week. Little news about the caravan routes to the towns and blah, blah, blah. But no news is good news. Okay. So, maybe we can use that to our benefit. Ooh, okay. Cause So, we we have a adversarial relationship with Jarl Aiden. So, nobody's going to sell us any land here. That makes sense. So, you got to have a good rep to, to buy the land. Eh, okay, I understand. I understand. Gotta kinda gotta work it a little bit. Gotta work it. Alright, let's head uh, over here towards Jailbag. Yeah, Mitch and blah blah blah. We knew it was gonna get raided. I mean it's it's sitting on the border of both of the kingdoms that we're currently at war with. We're we're at war with <laughs> both we're at war with two kingdoms right now, Swadia and Vagir. And it's at an intersection of both those, so it's it's just those poor people. They're just screwed. No one's willing to to join. That's fine. You know what? We we're pretty low. What do you guys got? I'm good on fish. Maybe the cheese, grapes. Maybe I'll buy the cheese. Yeah, I'll buy the grapes too. Need to get some cabbages. Oh, weren't we gonna try to heal up a little bit? Yeah, let's go over here to Jelbeggy Castle and heal up a little bit. And then maybe we'll go like, oh, Tarwirl is looted. Maybe we'll go to Chide? Or Gissim. Jeez, that's like way out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, let's heal up a little bit. Oh yeah, why hasn't this been looted already? This should be part of our kingdom. For sure. Alright. 
take a look here. We got some people we can upgrade. So we'll just plow it back into footmen. Since they seem to have the shortest life expectancy out of everybody. And yeah, we're pretty much fully healed, so let's go up here to Gissim. Who is that? You're all Surden. Turia sends word that he wants. Okay, so it's this. He wants us to bring at least 12 troops. So he doesn't have like a really high standard of what he wants. Where is Turia? Where's Turia? Kelridan Castle. Where's Kelridan? Oh. Oh, okay. Well, nice. We took that. Okay, well, I'm on my way. I'm on my way, Turia. Oh, God, what did I just miss? Quest log has been updated. Hmm? What? What, what, what? What, what, what? Oh, we're preparing to defend Durchio's castle. Okay, that's, this could be interesting. Could be fun. Every time before that we've gotten this quest, we've either, we've either failed it because either our fault or not our fault, basically. Sir, the House of Rolf. It's one of the most ancient and respected families in the part of the world with a provenance dating back to the old Colorotic Empire, yet Bunduk openly chose to be disrespected and cast it down in the provenance of my house. You know, you guys need to shut up. That's what I'm thinking. I don't really give a rat's patootie about your squabbles. Yeah, okay, but it's already looted, so it doesn't really matter. What? Okay. Oh, because they took it already, so the quest is just over. Well, there he was, right there. Traveling to Tyr, Curin, so like they're heading back to their own castles. I was you guys completely ruined my plans by the way I was gonna loot this place up here thanks thanks all right so they took that well our fief might get taken here guys just depends but I'm gonna go loot some stuff that's already looted. That's already looted. I want to go up here and loot this little town that's way up here in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it's no surprise that they wouldn't let me. They wouldn't sell me any land because they hate me. Because... Most people seems like they do hate me. It's a little rough. I guess you'd say this character, the way I've played it, it's a little rough around the edges, like picking fights with people and shit like that. Okay, Nizar can be leveled, so let's go ahead and do that. He's kind of low level. Um, hmm. Let's see, you're an int character, you have high int, you have some inventory management, some leadership. Hmm. Let's, um... You know what, let's make you a tracker. That sounds kind of interesting. So we'll dump, we're going to dump some points into tracking here on him. And then... Let's do... Uh, I like I like leveling one-handed weapons first because I think it's pretty uh, pretty useful overall. Tracking. Why doesn't it show anything? Oh, okay. We get the plus one from him. So our tracking is now four, which I don't know if I've ever had it be that high before. So hope I, I'm interested to see exactly how much information you can get from the tracks, you know? Alright, prepare to be raided. Pre 
prepare to be raided. Loot and burn the village. Plunder it. I just, I don't see anybody coming over here. I really just don't. Your Alturia wishes to inform you that the Lords of Kingdom of Nords will be gathering for a feast at his great hall in Ribbelet Castle. Okay, let me finish up my Festivus here. Okay, we looted it for 50 dinars. Swati is more pissed at us. Bunduk looks upset. So he'll probably leave. It's not really his, I guess, not really his bag to be raiding and looting. Well, he, he probably is in the, uh, in the wrong company then because we do an awful lot of this. It's kind of our thing. Because it's fun. I like it. Okay, let's um, let's see here. What does I want to do? Oh, I want to look at my inventory. Okay, we should have plenty of supplies now. We even got some some stuff. Where is Ribulet Castle? Oh, it's right there. Great. That's yeah, perfect. It's right there. Ooh, cattle herd. Nice, nice. Uh, this is Boondit. Begging your pardon, Captain. I can't say I'm happy to see us attack innocent villages. Villagers, those are just simple people trying to make a living. We can try to go easy on the poor wretches, Captain. I feel much better. Well, you know what? Here's the thing. War is brutal, Boondit. Your objections noted. Fall back in line. If you don't like it, sorry. Uh, slaughter them. Slaughter all three. And... Oh, we can't even carry it. Can't even carry the beef. Screw it. Just leave it. Leave the beef behind. Right, let's go to this feast so that we can get some... That'll give us some reputation with Turia. Should, at least. Wish, uh, wish they'd pay me a ransom for Drooly already. Boy, our drooler. Yeah, I'm gonna come shortly. Be right over there. Deserters, deserters, deserters. Uh, can't abide that fellow Rolf, the one who calls himself a baron. He's just a simple brigand, as far as I can tell. House of Rolf, my arse. Genuine blue bloods are bad enough. Those who pretend to be blue bloods are bloody intolerable. Anyway, I might have said something a bit sharp to him a minute ago. He seemed to take offense anyway. I just thought you should know. <laughs> I don't have time for your petty disputes. But it is pretty funny. Blue blood my arse. Alright, uh, let's join the feast. So we're going to talk to him so we can get the... Uh, what? There's nobody even here. It's a tarp. There's seriously, there's nobody at the feast. There's a feast, there's nobody here. So I can't even get the... Uh, I can't even get the... You know, the buff that you get. This this place looks... Oh, it's already looted. Never mind. Looted. That's their capital, I think. Uxkal. Proven. Looted. Looted. Man, we really kind of... Kind of crapped on these people, didn't we? Um, let's see. I wonder who has Suno. Let's go, let's go see what's up in Suno. Well, there's Jarl Dirigan. Man, he doesn't have hardly any troops. We'll go up here to Suno and see if we can purchase a business enterprise. I wonder if, even if you're at war with the people who control that town, if you can still have a business in that town. Seems like you should be able to, right? I mean, it's not like you're having to go to the town and run it. Alright, let's visit the tavern and see what's going on. Ooh, we haven't been here before. A farmer, a crossbowman. Is there anybody upstairs? Or is this going to be one of those upstairs that's like almost non-existent? I like the doors! But there's... Uh, not... Hello? Hello? Okay, so yeah, non it's completely non-existent. It's not even like the... The one place where you go upstairs and it's just like a hallway. There, it's it's completely 
nothing there. It's just a set of doors that taunts you. Uh, let's take a walk around the streets. Where is the Guildmaster likely to be? Uh, where's my horse? I want my horse. Guildmaster? I see a guy here, but he's likely just the stable hand, right? Yeah, he's the horse merchant. He is not who I wish to speak with. Who's this guy? Over here, a guard? Yeah, likely. Nord Footman. Footman. Bonk. Bonk. Weaponsmith. Uh, well, you know, that's one of the things. You go to a new town, you gotta learn the layout. I think I have been in this layout before, but it's been a while. So he's probably up these stairs up here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna jump up the up the stairs here. Um, hmm. Is this him? Ah, hey, buddy. All right, so. What can you tell me about the trade around here? They have shortages of wool, raw silk, dyes, iron, hides, date fruit, smoked fish, dried meat, grapes, olives, grain, chicken, pork. Uh, can I? Yeah, you're all gerlot. Oh, yeah. About that. I don't think he likes us too much. <laughs> we probably punched him out at some point in time. Alright, let's go down to Rulins and see if we can recruit some folks. And then we'll go back over here to Ribolette. And uh, see if we can... A Swadian recruit. Eh, fine. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, well, I guess we'll stop there. We're going to put a cut in. And in the next video, we're going to head over here to Ribolette to try and get that opinion bump from Turia by going to his feast and then after that I don't know what we're gonna do um, oh, we could yeah we're probably gonna go over to Tall Burl and uh, raid it that's what we're gonna do yeah that sounds good alright guys thank you so much for joining me and until next time the game on